Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 Expert Mode 101 video. Although today we're not actually in the 101, we're in the cab car. Uh, the Sturwagen, I think it's called. Uh, so let's pop in. I thought we'd do it back on Reza Dresden. And we've also got a bit of rain as well to see if that might get us some more faults. Basically more things going wrong, which should be fun. Um, so let's get the train set up, which is fairly standard um, stuff to begin with, there's not really sort of much, you know, wrong doing here. Uh, so we'll set you up to that. Instrument lights on, just, you know, basic stuff. Brake key, we'll do that as well. Um, fault simulation, we'll check that. Uh, I might turn that up as well. Let's change it to, um, yeah, let's pop it up a bit. Let's put it maybe to, oh, I don't know, let's set it to 50. Then we're 50 times more likely to get a fault. So basically, we're guaranteed to get faults, uh, which we're good from. Uh, electric train supply at the moment is off, uh, so we'll get actually, let's let's get the doors open, and we'll be late on this tree. You don't get really any time to set up, uh, as it is sort of based off of the old timetable. Right, electric train supply is now on. Uh, it's said we've got a fault at the moment. Uh, that's nothing really that bad. Uh, we could just do do that on and off. Uh, we do need to put in the train data. Um, so as we're an IC train, uh, or sort of a passenger train, we'll set the brake type to 9. Uh, how long are we? 203 metres. So you round up to the next nearest 10. So 210, that's 21. Uh, 21 for our brake reservoir or something. ZL, what was ZL? What was ZL? ZL, what was ZL? What was ZL? I can't remember what ZL was. But VMZ, that's our top speed. So top speed of these trains is 200 kilometers an hour. So 200. Uh, what did we put for that? Was it 18? I feel like it was 18. Yeah, I'm going to put 18 in there. I think that's to do with the... Um, I will find it somewhere on here. Yeah, I think it's to do with the length of the train, I think. Uh, it comes under as the uh, the ZDE. Um, four, four. What's that? The ZL. ZL, 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 ZL. Just on the manual, which I'll leave a link for below. It's very good. Yeah, train... Train length. Oh, hang on, no. Train length. Yeah, th th this is 21 then. Silly me. Yeah, so th this this is 21. So you put the train length here, 21. Yeah, this is the brake percentage. So for that, we then put 18, um, which is sort of the average. Yeah, 18 for an IC consist. So we'll put 18 on there. 18. There you go. So that's... That's basically what you want it as almost every time. The train length is the thing which will change. So as we're 203 metres, we round it up to 210. So we'll send that off. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we've got our lights behind us, uh, which are set to headlights. That's good. All of that's looking good. So yeah, we are actually good. Not good to go just yet. Uh, there is another thing we need to do, and that's the GSMR. So it does take a bit of time to get set up. Should we quickly call the signaller? Moin. Pad ist dir bereits hier gestellt. Gute Reise noch. Sorry, mate. Cheers, mate. Let's call the signaller up. Uh, we're already in the GSMR uh, Germany, so that's good. ZD, uh, ZM. This is our train number, uh, which can be found on the PIS screens. So we're 2246. 2246. Enter. Uh, our, we are the leading driver. So we can set it to TF1, which is leading driver. Um, and then our company is already set to DB Fernwerk, uh, which you change on, on here. So DB Fernwerk is sort of long distance. Uh, and then you've then got to send it off. So number five, basically it will be the tick or a tick for a UK equivalent. There we go. So we'll send that off. 
Oh, that's all sent. Um, so yeah, we are actually now good to go. So let's get the doors shut. Keep forward. Right. Let's go. I hope nothing breaks straight away. So it should be Dresden you start up next. Yeah, Dresden you start then Reza. We're off. Let's get the wipers on, which are also quite cool. Is the rain actually even coming on the windscreen? Not sure. Maybe as we speed up, it will show up a bit better. It is coming on the windscreen, is it? Let me turn those wipers off. You see, they, they do sort of different times, they are. No, I don't think it is coming on the windscreen. It might be because we're, we're the early access at the moment. But yeah, I thought we'd do it in range to sort of see... Um, well, basically, yeah, if there's any differences and what other faults we can get. Just leave it on intermittent then for now. Bring that back. See for. See from that setup, once you get used to it, it's not too difficult. Um, I know I'm already fairly used to German trains, but yeah, it, it to begin with, it's like whoa, you gotta do that GSMR, but it's not actually too bad. And if you're reading the manual, which I'll leave a link to below, the manual is the knowledge. Pretty much always have the manual on hand. Maybe you can print it off. Well, actually, maybe don't because it's 143 pages long. Um, so maybe don't print it off. But you could if you want. Or just print off the important pages, like the foot. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe print off the important ones, like the faults. Um, yeah, basically just print off the faults. All you really need to print off. Now we go up to 80. It's got a slightly funny throttle in the cab car. Um, you sort of got you can, where you can run up, but then you've also got the percentage as well. It's a bit like the DBR 111. Yeah, 111. Triple one. Hopefully it won't be too late on this one. If we're lucky, maybe we'll even be on time in Teresa. No faults at the moment, although it is actually saying we have got a fault. Um, but by the looks of things, we are fine. So, yeah, that's the brims. It was just with the brakes, I believe. So we'll just do that. That might, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really matter too much. Just a new step. She's on the way. No yellows yet, that's good. Cool. Lovely. Alright, throttle can come off. Yeah, coming into Dresden new stat. Just in what Bremser means, it's two of the brakes, I believe. Uh, Bremser. 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 Yeah, Bremser air brake or parking brake is applied. So I don't think we have the uh, parking brake on. Because we would probably, we would probably then start slowing down, which we haven't done, so. That might be on the locomotive, possibly.
right now, just a tiny bit. Always a bit too quick on the brakes. Right, we're 210 metres. That's 110, so we're still quite a way to go. What's this one up here? Oh, 220. Oh, that's fine. Then we'll stop here. Yeah, it's gone off now. No, it's still on. We've got the MBUEP, but those two things don't matter too much. So we can probably quickly go back to the loco, can't we? Yeah, is that, the, is that the loco end? No, that's not the loco end. That's the loco end. Oh, that was a bit funny there. Uh, parking brake. Look at that. It might do something, but unlikely. Right, can we now go back to the cab car though? No, I thought we might not be. Oh no, we can. Yeah, from the cab car, that's fine. Yeah, still on. So I think Bremse just sort of stays on pretty much. Um, I don't think there's anything in here to do with parking brake. Right, all brakes are coming off. The doors should be closing. Well, if not, we'll do that. Should be coming off. Right, uh, Reese's up next. There you go. I might turn up the um, chaos factor a bit. Because we're not getting any faults yet. Uh, but let's pop it up to max. So we go on to here, um, number two. Yeah, let's just put it to 99. Then we're bound to get something go wrong. Like, there's no way we cannot get something go wrong uh, in Chaos Factor 99. So that could be, you know, power, taking power issues. Uh, basically, anything. There's hundreds of different faults you could get. But the manual goes over every single one, so don't worry. It should be fairly straightforward to sort. So don't get worried too much. to a hundred and then quite soon up to 160 so we're 99 times more likely to get a fault now so yeah honestly we should get a fault uh, of some kind and one just actually went there one of the fuses has just gone there but it hasn't come up so it's probably not a big one it's probably like uh, the window heating has gone or something Can have a little look. What one, what one is that? That is the SPS ZWS FMZ. No, the firmer box. Okay, that's bad as knackered. Yeah, the firmer box is just broken. I don't think it really affects us, so we're all right. Should be able to get. What was the number for it? might actually be a way to sort of fix it. They got 160. Look at that. 45 F03. No, it wasn't that one. 63 F01. 63 F01. Whilst trying to drive the train at the same time. 63 F01. If I quickly go to the manual. 63 F01. I don't want that. I want the 
volts. Uh, which is going to be on page. Living there, where is it? Uh, 93. F01. Which comes up at S. I'm trying to find it. It's not one of the indicators, that's one of the fuses. Uh, 63 F01. 63 F01. I was trying to look out. I got about 150 of them, that's alright. 63 F01, wasn't it? Was it 63? Hang on, let's quickly double check. Uh, yeah, 663 F01. Can't see that one. Oh, there it is, Firma Box. So I don't think there's really well, much we can do, really. Should be fine. As long as it's not one of these which has come up. Which now one has come up. Um, so something is wrong. So I said we may end up start losing power. Which would be fun. Is it like that? That's not moving there, is it? Hopefully the audio is alright. Hopefully it's not been too it's a bit noisy actually. Let's quickly pop that down a bit. It's a smidge. Uh, so what went down there? That was that one's gone. See that? Kill Manlaga has has gone. What does, what do I need to do for that? Kill Manlaga. HVAC has failed, so nothing really what we need to worry about, which is um, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, so not really the end of the world on a rainy summer's day. Yeah, you can see that another fuse has gone down there. So that's all that is. So if we quickly come on here, oh not that, quickly do that. Yeah, that one's bugging still. Yeah. So that, one's, that one doesn't really matter too much. Because I, I, I haven't even got it on. So. I mean, these faults are sort of things which don't really. I mean, yeah, it says just basically stay in the driver's seat. If it doesn't. If it's not going to bring you to a stop, then the, don't worry about it until the next station. So that really just isn't the end of the world. So we've got to acknowledge it though. But this is worth night this is nine this is like the max you can get. So see that. moment the two faults we have which is yeah I think it was a climate can the firmer box and then heating ventilation air conditioning which probably are linked I mean it doesn't really matter but nonetheless cool what would matter though is if we started losing power well then it's like oh we need to stop the drain Just fine. 
There's freight train at 185. And also the cool thing is with these faults there's also different combinations of them you can get. So it might break, but then it might you might do something to fix it which you've done last time, but it won't work. So then you've got to do something else. Something else, something else to then fix the same fault. See if we're lucky, we might get another fault. Yeah, we've got the two already. Just don't seem to want to uh sort themselves. Right, it comes down to 140, which we're actually already going. So that's fine. One of the more common faults is the electric train supply going out. Um, and for that you just need to basically reset the power. So lower the pantograph, circuit breaker open, raise pantograph, close circuit breaker, um, and then the electric train supply on. That's the one I've had so far, that's the main one I've had. You see the electric supply going out. Right down to 120. I feel like that needle probably should be going as well. But it doesn't seem to be... Oh, no, no, that's fine. It is doing it. We're fine. We're all good. Well, it's flashing, so we've got... So oh, no, no, it's not. No, it's gone now. It's no longer flashing, so we're all good. Let's try and get the uh, thingies back on. That's all right. Who needs climate control? There you go, back in. So that's something else fell. I want. I want like a big fall. One where we actually have to like maybe go to the rear locomotive or... Because there are certain faults where you won't be able to get moving again. You simply will just be stuck and you've got to end the service. But I mean that's like... Very rare. But it could happen. Which is cool. So it's only a 30 minute service, so we might not get anything too major. Whereas if you're on it on Salzburg, Rosenheim, you might probably get a few more troubles when that's so there's a service on there that's about an hour and ten minutes. More time for it to go wrong. Cool. So I won't be too far until the junction where we then sort of fly back across to the slow line. We are coming up to that point in time fairly soon. All still fine for now. Lovely. And I think we might be able to speed up as well. Is that a speedboard coming up? Yeah, it's still 120. But the fast lines aren't even that quick. Like if you did a race, slow versus fast, this probably wouldn't come out much quicker. I suppose it's not 120, but it has gone back up. But we'll stay at 120 unless we missed it. Which is possible. Open the window as well if you want. 
Get a bit of fresh air in. So yeah, fairly soon we'll join up. Um, well, we'll sort of go back across onto the slow lines. Shouldn't be too much further now. I just wonder, I wonder what this would be like with LZB. Like if you run this on Colnarkin Arkin in free roam, I wonder how um, how that will work. Or even on um, Castle Versberg in free roam. A cool experiment to do. Right up to 160. There we go. Oh, we got a fault. Something out is flashing again. It's flashing. Nothing's come up up there. Well, we'll acknowledge it and then leave it. <laughs> Some of them you can just acknowledge and leave. Now the fuses are still, yeah, we're fine. I think it's just the same one again. She's uh, not happy. No, okay, you're gonna flash. Off we go. Let's see if uh, nice. Up and over we go. Yeah, so swinging back across now. And then the speed will come down to 120 from, uh, was it Nunclit all the way up to Razor? And if you would like to see this train on Salzburg Rosenheim, uh, check out the live stream. Obviously, the services are quite long on there, so it's sort of more suited to uh, a live. Unless we break it up into a couple of videos. So we're going over the Grossenhain branch soon. I'm just going to acknowledge that. No, okay, it just it wants to flash. Okay, you do your flashing. Then we go over the Grossenhain branch. Uh, yep, there it is there. Should fairly soon, I think, get a warning board for a 130 to begin with, and then a 120. But yeah, sort of the straight line slow bit into Riza. So, yeah, the DLC may seem a bit daunting, but I mean, so far, what, my three hours into this, it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, most of the faults you get won't bring you to a standstill. Um, I just haven't had any sort of big ones like that yet. Um, and the trains, the, the train itself, uh, I mean, you've got to plug in the ZDE data and the train number, the GSMR. But really, apart from that, it's fairly standard for German, sort of setting things up. So don't be put off by the train thinking, oh my god, I'm not going to you know, be able to start it up. The sort of start up procedure is relatively the same as other German trains. Just you get the added yeah, ZDE and GSMR, which is, is cool. Right down to 130. I'm just coming down to 120 actually, as it will come down to that. Fairly soon after. Of course, we're now back onto well the sort of slow line now. There's the 130. And that quite quickly then comes down to 120. It 
something else is gone now. I could, you can just about hear it and it clicks over. But if it doesn't show up on there, it usually means it's sort of okay. What was that one just went on the bottom row? Floor and alcove heat... Oh, no, window heating. Oh, no, that was the floor and alcove heating. Let's see, can we just flick it back up? No, okay, that's gone. Yeah, so, it, you know, things like that. I mean, if it doesn't if it doesn't show up on here, it usually doesn't really matter. But you've got the air conditioning on there, um, which we could turn off and turn on back on again. It's, like, down here. But not sort of really ideal to uh, to do that whilst we're, whilst we're driving along. Put that back on. What was that? The air conditioning. You got the big chemical plant there. Let's get a little uh, little shot here of our. That's a split second. There we go. Now we got the uh, the nice uh, view there of the signal box. If we're even going to get that included in the shot. Very nice. Yeah, so Stullum, Stullum's doing it, Sam. Stullum, Stullum, to you too. Hey, now it's not flashing because we've acknowledged that the fault. And the thing's gone. But so far, nothing where we've had to actually have to come to a stop. Which is much better now. Now we're off that fast line. If something did happen like that, we've got. Um, was it Nunclit Station in. Oh, what's the other one? Uh, what's the other station? It's Nincrits and then there's another one. The other one near Visa. Uh, we can just stop there and sort it out. So, yeah, so something does go wrong. It doesn't really matter now. As we've got places we can uh, stop at. Oh, hang on. No, that's quite well timed. Something's just happened. And that was, well, I didn't do anything there. That's not PZB, that's... I don't know, what's happened there? What was that? Blim's there. I mean, we did uh, We do have a 1000 hertz magnet, so, it, yeah, it could have been to do with that, whilst we were looking at the, uh, at the panel. But I don't think there was anything which would have set that off. Let's have a little look. So yeah, it could be, uh, it could be a fault. Yeah, there's, well, there's nothing. <laughs> nothing would have set that off. So that may be our first sort of, you know, train coming to a stop fault. Yeah, there the literally is. Yeah, nothing. Nothing much would brought us to a stop there, so I think that may be, maybe our first, um, well, yeah, train stopping, um, but uh, fault. I want to say bug, but it's not a bug. Fault. So you can get fault. Yeah, nothing would have, uh, well, stopped us there. Okay, well that's interesting. Let's have a little look. See. Okay, it's already gone off. So, yeah, that was weird. So some sort of magnet issue there, then maybe. What's that? I think the brakes are still fully on. Are the brakes are still fully on. There they are. Yeah, something something actually has happened here. Maybe in the rear loco, maybe. So we've got nothing showing up this end. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, 
Let's have a little look. Anything gone? Firma box. That's gone. Oh, the thief is gone. That's why. Look, the thief is gone. Yeah, that's. Okay, it's staying on. That's probably why then. Um, yeah, that would have. I mean, that would have brought us to an emergency stop as it did. Okay, you've got the thief fuse here as well, haven't you? Somewhere. Do that. Uh, that should be good. What was that? The firma box. Can that come on? No, that that's gone. Oh, it sounded a bit promising. Yeah, so that, that was simply the Cifa just going going off, which uh, brought us to a stop. Let's call the uh, call the guard up quickly, which I think is number three. Was it number three? Let him know what's happening. Let him know why we stopped all of a sudden. Uh, GSMR. GSMR. Uh, one one oh six. One oh six. Uh, what one was it? What was it to make the call? Uh, who we call them? Primary, not from that. Uh, call supervisor. Would that be on the train? There's not a guard one, is there? Call him up, supervisor. Can you hear me, mate? Expression seal is on 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 the thing. No, maybe not. No, he's he's hung up on us. He's not happy. Now well, let's call let's call the signal. Let's quickly let him know why we're running slightly behind there. See for fault. Well, that's cool though. Sorry, Sigma, we had a seat for fault, that's why we came to a stop there, just letting you know. All right, mate. Cheers, mate. Out. <laughs> there. Well, that was it. That was our sort of first. Well, you know, well, it, it just emergency stopped us because of that. As the seat uh, decided it would, uh, it, it had enough, which is quite cool. Well, back up to uh, 120. See if anything else will break in sort of the five minutes we've got now. You have to double tap to get into the um, into sort of the percentage part of the throttle. So yeah, I'm prepared for everything now. Now Seif has gone out. Or had gone out. Is it called up and all this one? This one counts as actually being in reads at this one. Go. And we sort of start the uh, the curl round into uh, Reza. We've got a neutral section, so we might actually lose our electric train supply. Like everything we just put everything into sort of well, we're not we're not applying any power here now. No power's being applied. I don't think our electric train supply... Oh no, it did go out as soon as I say that. Yes, we've lost our electric train supply now. Is there sort of a proper way to go through neutral sections in Germany? Uh, so for that we just need to uh, do that. And we'll just start it back up again. It doesn't come on, it's not the end of the world. Do we'll, see, I don't want to do that. I don't want to muck about with the circuit breaker. Yeah, we won't do that. 
No, we've still got power. It's just the electric. No, we still got power. Yeah, it's just the train supply, isn't it? No, oh, no. Okay, we don't. All right. Yeah, what is the best way to go for a blimmin' neutral section in Germany or about tripping it? In that case, we'll do that. I don't know if you can do that on the move, realistically. You probably could. I mean, you do put the pantograph up, don't you, sometimes with power changes and stuff. Do that. I believe that's back on now. It's not showing us off. Or is it? I don't know. Yeah, we're not gaining any power at the moment. Let's do that again quickly. Because we've got to be careful because we're not too far off of uh, freezer now. And I don't want to miss any of the uh, of the boards. That would not be good. Right, Pants got us back up. And you got to close the circuit breaker. Doesn't really matter at the moment, we're sort of just coasting along. We've got to slow down anyway. Do that. Slow that down. So difficult whilst you're trying to sort of keep an eye out. And also with the HUD off as well, it doesn't help too much. Oh, not out yet, okay, cool. But the electric train supply is apparently back on, so. Didn't really sound like it come on though, that could be a fault. Right, uh Let's put that down even more. As we come into Razor. There's quite a few things that tripped over there now. So the train current actually might be one of them. Which will explain why it says, it says it's on, but it's not. Quickly have a look. Look, see again. Thermal box is gone. And what was the one next to it? Now we'll have a look once we've stopped. Not the best I did, so I'll be looking around whilst the. Oh, there's, hang on, there's an old 110 there. I didn't realize they were on here. That's the uh, the one from Linka Reinstrecker. Is that meant to be on here? Well, it's there. Here we are, right down to the end. And we're going to get soaked when they get out. See if that. And there we go. That is Reza. And that is a full run of the route. Let's have a little look, see what's gone. ZBF. Sounds a bit important, that. PIS is gone. Doesn't want to return either. Uh, we lost that already, didn't we? Uh, we lost the flange lubrication. So that's just come back on. Oh, hang on. Now, now it's come on. Oh, no. Well, we've done it anyway. We made it. Uh, and it, well, <laughs> did sort of fail at the end there. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for me. Uh, hopefully everybody has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in all of the usual places. Uh, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Uh, this should be out by the time you're watching this on consoles and out slightly later on PC. Um, 
And yeah, thanks for the stuff. Keep us a code. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Thank you.